Hello ladies and gentlemen, Azuka here. Welcome to Azuka's quick guide to unit types. I'll be just going briefly over all of the unit types in um, and their main, well, their main roles when it comes to using them on the battlefield. I won't be go going over um, individual strength or weaknesses or uh, skills, just their general usages, ah, just their general use and some, um, and their weakness. First we have the pikeman line. I'll be using pike militia for an example. Ah, a great example here. Pikeman, uh, pikeman, like most units, have very little protection against range, so always avoid getting shot. But they are an offensive type unit. They mostly deal damage. So what you want to do with pikemen is always put them in a situation where they can deal damage. So if you were to think about the, um, if you were think about tank or damage dealers, the pikemen unit is great at dealing damage, but cannot um, cannot sustain prolonged fights, mainly due to the fact that once they start taking damage. Um, they'll drop faster and um, they'll start dying faster and faster. Now going on to the next unit. Your unit is retreating. The sword and shield unit actually. Sword and shield unit is a great uh, all-rounder unit. It has a shield to protect itself from range attacks and other and be able to block other melee attacks as well. Again, I call the um, swords and shields uh, all rounders, so they're great at holding the line and also dealing damage. But again, they won't deal as much damage as pike units. But they'll do better. But they'll do better in prolonged fights, mainly due to the fact that they can block um, block damage. As you can see, uh, these Iron Cap Swordsmen taking minimal damage. I say minimal, but it could be... Um, it's much less than the Pike Militia when they were fight, um, fighting against their own. So, that is the... Um, Swords and Shield unit. They're a great all-rounder, both at holding the line and dealing damage, but they're not the best at both. They're more, um, they're more versatile than other units, mainly due to the fact that they can both defend and attack. Now we have the Spearman unit. So in Conqueror's Blade, don't get confused about the naming conventions, even though Pike it would be classified as a uh, kind of spear, or is a spear kind of Pike. <laughs> generally, generally spearman units are the guys with the largest shields. As you can tell, these guys have a pretty big shield. They're great defensively, but as you can see, they will struggle to kill things. Their damage is generally low, but their greatest strength is in their formations and abilities. So even though I won't get uh, even though I won't be going over those real um, going over those, just remember that you need to really get around these guys. Their big sh um, their shields will be the hardest thing uh, to break through for most units. Then we have the archer unit. Your unit is Get into position. This I will be using iron cap archers for this. Assemble. And not a good example. Well, anyway. As you can expect, archer units being ranged units, keep them at range. Nothing too bad about them. 
Once in melee, they will start dropping like flies. Archer units have the lowest health and will die the fastest out of any unit in the game. But normally, they have a high fire rate and can... <laughs> oh, I didn't know that happened. Well... They normally have a high fire rate and normally have the longest range. Archers are great at uh, shooting, again, at exposed units. And you should normally aim for either killing other ranged units or other exposed units. Normally, um, normally units from behind. Well, that's actually just a general. Uh, that's a tactic in general. All unit. You should always be aiming for the backside of units. <laughs> uh, I know I've been talking about archers, but most ranged units uh, kind of serve the same purpose. It's very different. Um, there's a bit of nuances when you're considering. There's a bit of nuances when you're considering which ranged unit to go for, but between the archers, the crossbows, and the aquabuziers, there's not really that much difference. Mostly in the terms of which range you want to aim for. <laughs> Too bad I don't have this all set up. So you have the Aquas here. Uh, Lance Cavalry. Oops. Actually, it's better to show off this one. And the Horse Archer. These are the three unit types that are left. Um, I have left out the Javelin unit. Again, the Javelin unit uses uh, use of, a, um, of their abilities more than being an actual type. If... So, again, I'm not going over uh, abilities for this. I could do that in a separate video because there's a lot of differences between different units and which ones and how they perform in general. Akabuziers. Ironcap Akabuziers, uh, again. Another type of ranged unit, but these ones preferably are, well, again, closer range. They have generally the highest stats in the um, in the range category but as you can see they'll easily be outranged by archers and I, I would say crossbow units but actually that's a lie because crossbow units generally ha um, do have better accuracy but their range is actually shorter their base range is actually shorter than Akubuzia units which is quite sad but as you can tell, that the one of the main difficulties that Akubuzia units have is the accuracy. Accuracy is a pain. It's one of the more uh, main drawbacks of um, the Akubuzia unit. So you have to be fairly close to deal a significant amount of damage. I'm going to go over the Lance Cavalry. Lance Cavalry normally focuses on their charge ability, but just as a standard unit, they're not really, um, they're not really much of a threat, um, well, again, they're a cavalry unit, so they'll try to use their speed against you, but they're not very great in melee combat as it is. Once they get bogged down and can't use their speed, they will die, <laughs> eventually. I wonder if, uh, actually. Yeah. Player controlled units will be much better at, kill, um, at killing cavalry. They do run around in attack mode, making use of their speed and agility to make sh uh, to deal damage while taking a l the least amount of damage.
But as I said before, um, Lance Cavalry does specialize in charge, um, their charge skill, which had, uh, which are, again, the strength really depends on which uh, Lance Cavalry you do go for. Now you have the melee cavalry. The melee cavalry category again. Most cavalry, most uh, well, this it, this is confusing because when I say melee cavalry, it really um, it really actually refers to say um, sword cavalry. Sword cavalry again, as you can expect, they're pretty good in. Um, melee, of course. These ones are generally fa um, these ones are generally faster than their lance cavalry counterpart, and uh, I think this was just uh, well, I wouldn't say an unfortunate matchup. Normally, pike units would do extremely well against cavalry, but as you can see there, the sword cavalry just munched those guys up. Generally, these guys are much better in their natural state. Oh, this might be a bit difficult. Guys with big shields, normally t uh, difficult to take down. I say difficult. <laughs> Sword Cavalry, again, great, um, great in their natural state. Don't normal, um, most units, most, most, uh, cavalry units have a form of charge, but Sword Cavalry don't particularly, um, particularly need to rely on it, as they're, again, great at uh, just running down units in general. So make sure you use their superior speed than their lands counterpart. Now onto the last unit type we have the and of course I have the skin on them. We have the iron cap bow riders or or, um, or mounted archers for this um, for this their normal attack AI does um, is designed for them to run around their target. These guys again, um, these guys as mounted horse archers are great at shooting while moving around, but once they start getting caught, as you can see, they'll start falling. They're great at skirmishing and kiting, but. You want to uh, avoid as much uh, like any ranged unit. You want to avoid melee confrontation at all turns. They're not the tankiest of units. They all um, they all ranged units will have less uh, defense. Will have generally less defense than any of their close combat counterparts. As well, um, so yeah. You want to keep them running around, not have them fight or fight the units. Well, don't want to, don't want them to run straight into units. That is, and that's all of the basic unit types. I hope that helped, and have a nice day.